Mark, they say just after eight, just before eight o'clock this morning, a 15 year old male student armed with a handgun entered Marshall County High School and opened fire. Just two minutes later, the first 911 calls came into Marshall County dispatchers and less than seven minutes later, police were entering the school. In that very short period of time, 19 people were injured, 14 of those wounded by gunshots. Two 15 year old students died from their injuries. Officials aren't releasing the name of the shooter or what may have led to the shooting. They said at the press conference they are working diligently to find out more. Um, uh, we are continuing to investigate um, him. We are looking into his home and, and details with him and he was apprehended uh, by the sheriff's department here on site at the school thankfully before any more lives could be taken. And the Kentucky State Police has been in this area recently teaching students and faculty how to respond to an active shooter situation and everybody in that high school reacted appropriately. Six of the injured were flown by helicopter to the nearest level one trauma center. That's where one of the students died. The other died at the scene. There's no word on the condition of the rest of the injured. The 15 year old shooter will be charged with murder and attempted murder. And News 3's Brandon Murano joins me live now. He was at North Marshall Middle School today where students were bust. The high school students were bust after the incident. You spoke with a lot of parents. Brandon, what were they feeling? Well, Ronnie, they just wanted to make sure that their children were safe. One parent who's also a teacher here at Marshall County High School tells me that his daughter was in another building, but he couldn't get a hold of her. He says when he finally got that phone call from his daughter telling him that she was safe, it was the best phone call of his life. But as he and other parents anxiously waited to pick their kids up, they had time to reflect on what happened. I mean, you never think it's going to happen here. I mean, I know it's happened to you know Heath High School 20 years ago, and uh, some other schools around uh, around the United States. And but uh, you never think it's going to happen at home. And uh, so it's a uh, it's eye opening for sure. I just can't wait to get to them, wrap them in my arms, and hold them forever. When I ran out, I immediately called my mom. How'd that feel? Devastating. The worst call you'd ever want to get. She was screaming and crying and saying there was an active shooter in her school. And I was just so glad she was on the other end of the line. Some parents waited in line for more than an hour and some not knowing if their child was among the victims today. Students who witnessed the shooting say it started as a fight in the common area and then gunshots rang out. Now I also spoke with a local pastor who was there as parents were picking up their children. He says seeing that was, quote, a picture of heaven. Live in Marshall County, Brandon Morano, News 3.